Hey everyone, welcome to our 96th episode of Brew Talk with Mr. Beer. My name is Robert. I'll be your host once again for today's show. So we're quickly approaching 100 episodes, which is pretty awesome. So we appreciate you guys uh, watching all these videos and hope you're learning something and enjoying them. Um, at least somewhat. Uh, we kind of enjoy making them and we always find interesting things to talk about sometimes. Like today's topic. Uh, it's something that we were discussing amongst ourselves the other day. Um, and the topic is does... Um, to squeeze in the air out of your bottles after you fill them, do anything. So you know when you fill your bottles, you have that little bit of space that's left between the top of the liquid of the beer and the top of the bottle. So the thought behind this is that there's a little oxygen sitting in that headspace and oxygen creates a bad off flavor in beer. If you ever had an oxidized beer before, uh, it tastes kind of like a cardboardy or kind of a wet papery taste. It's not a preferable taste in your home brew to say the least. So. Um, what you're doing by squeezing that oxygen out is that you are preventing your beer from getting oxidized is the thought behind it so to answer the question should you do this or does it do anything i think it's hard to tell if it does not do anything because it's such a small amount of oxygen but should you do it our answer is no um, and we got a few reasons for that so our first feeling on this issue is that if you're adding your carbonation drops or sugar before you fill your bottle with beer. Once you fill your bottle with beer, those yeasts are gonna realize that there's some simple sugars in there that should be eaten up, and they're gonna get to work on you know, tearing those sugars apart. And then what that's gonna do is create an off-gassing. It's gonna push out that oxygen. You're gonna have a nice bunch of CO2 floating around in your beer in there, which will be good. Um, another reason that we recommend against not doing this is because of the damage that it can cause to your bottles by squeezing them repeatedly over time. We think that will compromise the integrity of your bottles. So they won't one last as long and two, you could have more problems with leakage in the future, which is obviously not a good thing. Um, that's something you don't want to do. So those are the two main reasons that you don't want to do this. Um, obviously if you're using like glass bottles or swing top bottles, you don't do this. And I think the thought behind this is that um, sometimes commercial breweries or craft breweries will shoot some CO2 when they bottle or can their beer. So you're kind of pushing out all that oxygen to make sure the beer lasts for, for longer. It's more stable. But, you know, with home brews, we just haven't really seen a need to do that for the most part. Um, even when you're kegging your beer, you still get oxygen. But I get people, you know, push a bunch of CO2 in there and push out their beer. But we just don't think it's something that you should do. And I think that the side effects are minimal or or to or that the side effects of doing it are going to be bad for your bottles and you don't really get any benefit out of it uh so it's going to wrap it up i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh please make sure that you at least uh like it comment or share it if you enjoyed it hopefully we answered a question that you know some of you had thought or wondered in the past uh if you want to reference our notes for this video you can find those on our blog page on superbeer.com blog along with a bunch of other cool uh, recipes that we post and stuff like that. A lot of knowledgeable information on there. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. And I will see you guys next week as we quickly approach our 100th episode, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next week. Cheers.